So the best way to think about it is that you have the pins going through the board into the socket. Okay. There is a standard that says that you could plug it in the other way, but in North America that's never done. We right. always plug it in through the back, through of, the the back board, of the board into the socket that way. And that's done so that inside the locomotives I can keep a lower profile. Um, that way we take up less height right. uh, when we're doing installs. So, um, so in this case, I know because I've done this at least once before, um, that we want to make sure that the decoder is going down. Um, typically, we'll mark the decoder uh, if it's bought aftermarket with a, if it's a select, uh, believe it or not, that's an S, but it's always in blue. So if you know if it's a blue marking, it's a select. Um, if it's a yellow four, it's a 4.0. So right. the decoders do look very similar between the two of them. So we always make sure that we put that on there just to distinguish them if you're looking at it as a quick glance. Sure. But that's almost always visible up and it's going down from the tester as you're looking at it depending on which orientation you're okay. at, away from the center of the tester.